Hey guys, welcome to the first edition in our tech review series on the Mythic Booster channel. Today we're going to solve a problem that I had when I set up my new PC to do the editing and that was how to overclock my PC. Now I find out later that to change multipliers and overclock PCs easily you need a K-based processor. That's information I didn't have. But what I have found out is most Intel processors this day and age have the Turbo Boost mode which let you overclock by sort of 0.3 to 0.5 megahertz. So I have an Intel 3.1 and we can overclock that. And today I'm going to show you how. So as I was saying before is a problem that I had was how to overclock my PC. I need as much CPU processing power as I possibly can to do the editing I do for this channel. Now I bought a 3.1 gigahertz Intel CPU and it was a non-K based CPU. For those who don't know what that means, like I didn't originally, a K based CPU basically designed for overclocking. They're designed to be overclocked. You can literally go into your BIOS change the multiplier and if you've got the internals of your PC right you can overclock them up by quite a lot some of them pretty much almost up to a gigahertz over what they're allocated so as a 3.1 processor you might probably be able to get about 4.2 gig out of that just by turning up the multiplier I don't have that I have a non-k based one but that does have Intel's turbo boost built in now What's Turbo Boost? Well, Turbo Boost gives you individual power on individual cores when it's needed most. So this one will overclock up to about 3.3 gigahertz. It'll only do it on individual cores when it feels it needs it. So it's not a massive improvement. What I'm gonna show you is how you can leave that turned on all the cores all the time. It's not as straightforward as you think, but it is doable for everyone it's not complicated so keep watching to find out how okay so here you can see the PC and first thing we are interested in doing give you a cheeky shortcut for those who aren't computer literate the Windows key and pause break and that gets you up the system information so on the system information screen you can see we're running an i5 4440 at 3.1 gigahertz we're going to attempt to constantly run that at 3.3 which is what the turbo boost lets you so if we close that down, next thing we need to do is we need to restart our, our PC. So go down to restart and that will start restarting. You're looking at the bottom of the screen down here when you get to the BIOS screen and what it will show you is, it will show you, let's just restart this anyway, and what it will show you is a keyed press to get into the BIOS. We want to do that, ours is delete, so that's what we're going to use. So push delete, it now says entering setup. Okay, this is my BIOS, say we're on a Click BIOS 4 so I can actually use the mouse, it's quite novel. Um, I've got overclock settings here, and we can see up here as well i5 4440 3.1. The current frequency lets it run at 3.3 uh, gigahertz. Okay, so we go to our overclock settings. This is the important bit CPU ratio. So the CPU ratio um, is basically the multiplier that you can sort of almost limitlessly adjust. Uh, along with sort of frequency and all of this. All of these bits appear to see CPU frequency 33 times 100 megahertz. That's the value that you can actually adjust if you have a K-brace processor. We don't. So what we want to do is we want to turn our CPU ratio up as high as it will go and that ours is 3.3. So that's that 3.3 multiplier. Um, the ring ratio down here we want to turn on to fixed so i.e. it's always running at this fixed 33 multiplier and then we want to make sure anything like Intel Turbo Boost and anything like that is turned off. Okay, Turbo Boost would sit in here if the fixed mode was available. So fixed mode, 33 CPU ring ratio, that's fine. And then what we want to do is we then want to close down, save configuration and reset. Yes, we do. So that lets us save. And we're running quite a nippy PC, so uh, the boot up time on this is, is pretty fast. I'm sure other people will be uh, commenting, uh, saying, oh, mine boots up loads faster, but um, I'm quite uh, quite happy with the speed of ours. There you go, done. Um, just to double check what you're doing, if you get this program, uh, CPU-Z, it's quite handy. If I put it there, you can see what that looks like. 
If you go to your CPU ID, double click that, yes we want to run it. And what that's going to do is going to give us a little bit more information about our PC which is quite handy. So down here you will be able to see that our current core speed is 3.3 gigahertz and it will basically sit there, it will fluctuate by a couple of tiny percent but not very much at all and that lets us overclock our non k base PC as you can see here i5 440 not a k to a little bit not much but you can definitely get more at your PC and if you're doing 3D rendering and things like that that can make a massive difference okay so now we're back in uh, this world of not looking at the PC obviously it's a bit difficult to do screen recording within the BIOS that's quite hard so um, I thought I'd use the camera for the whole thing makes a little bit more sense still quite easy to see as well so I hope that really helps you guys to get a little bit more speed out of your CPUs it certainly helped me obviously with gaming it's going to help loads with processing so high 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 uh, processing tasks like photo video rendering things like that it will definitely help a little bit uh, remember to look into definitely different bits of cooling if you do have a K processor you're going to wind it all the way up um, I'm not going to be able to do a demo on that um, simply the fact that I don't have a K based processor but however it's very very easy all you're doing is you're going into your bars adjusting the frequency settings um, you basically balance them out you wait for things like uh, states and crash states to sort of appear dial it back a bit and you, you tweak it there's loads of videos on YouTube to have a look at um, at some point I probably will get a K based processor uh, tweak it up and I'll go from there and at that point I will do a video but anyway cut to the chase hope you've enjoyed this it was a massive help to me I spent ages trying to find it and there wasn't loads of videos so this was how to permanently overclock your non k based cpu to get the most potential out of it hope you enjoyed this video keep watching remember to like if you like the video remember to subscribe to see what we do next time and we'll see you next time on the mythic beast channel thanks guys yeah, yeah.